Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us for this update from your coronavirus headquarters. I'm Al Meyer. It's good to be with you. Going in for your doctor's appointments will look a little different from now on due to new safety procedures implemented by La Crosse's healthcare systems. News 8 Now's Isabella Holsizer tells us about the changes. When you first walk into the doors, expect to be met by a nurse ready to take your temperature, give you a mask, and mark that you've been screened for COVID-19 symptoms. You'll also notice the floors and lobby seating area will look different. We've removed a lot of the seating in the waiting rooms to help comply with social distancing. To provide a guide for social distancing, there are stickers on the floor reminding patients to stay six feet apart. It's just nice to have those visual cues to say, you know, this is where you can stand to be, to be safe. To combat germs living on surfaces, hospitals' maintenance crews are in full force. We've increased the cleaning in our common areas. Along with cleaning, staff will be wearing face coverings. They'll see everybody wearing masks regardless of what their role is here in the clinic and in the hospital. Although the changes may seem small, Meller says they make a big difference. In La Crosse, Isabella Holsizer, News 8 Now. And officials at Mayo Clinic Health System say they call their patients ahead of each appointment. Gunderson Health System is easing visitor guidelines. Adult patients will be allowed one visitor over the age of 18 per 24-hour period. Nursery, pediatric, and pediatric neonatal intensive care unit patients may have one support person, but their support person cannot be more than two different people in 24 hours. Exceptions are available for end-of-life care, communication needs, and labor and delivery. Nearly 200 new cases of COVID-19 have been reported in Wisconsin, bringing the total number of infections to nearly 12,900. 467 people have died. The number of recoveries in the state continues to climb. 7,300 people have recovered from the virus. That is 57% of the cases reported in the state. There are four new recoveries in La Crosse County, making 37 of the 47 cases no longer needing isolation. More than 600 new cases are being reported in the state of Minnesota, bringing the total to 17,670 infections. 777 people have died. More than 12,200 people have recovered. There are no new cases being reported in Winona or Houston counties. And in Iowa, a little more than 15,500 people have tested positive for the coronavirus. 383 people have died, but there are more than 8,200 recoveries. The state of Iowa is revising the case total for Winnishie County. They're lowering the case number by one to 20 cases. Airports around the country, including the Crosses, are taking some of the hardest hits in the wake of the pandemic. Leader at, leaders at the La Crosse Regional Airport say air traffic plunged 95% during the month of April. However, the airport is slowly making a comeback. Airport traffic has gone up over the last two weeks. Each flight on Monday, American Eagle and Delta were at least 50% full. The director says he expects the airport financially won't break even this year but there is a silver lining. Thankfully, we have our CARES Act funding as well as, as, a, as, as a, um, um, a decent fund balance of reserve money that will support us through this, this really bad economic time for air travel. Turner says each airline is operating one flight per day, except on Tuesdays. He expects there will be more flights next month. While it's not a necessity, many people have gone weeks or even months without a haircut. Now some barber shops and salons in the area are starting to reopen their doors. Sue Colvie's Salon and Day Spa is welcoming customers back this week. Leaders and staff say they have worked hard over the past eight weeks to make sure customers are safe to come in and get their haircut. They are placing all of the linens, all of the laundry, um, they're wiping down all the surfaces, any bottles that they have touched, the chairs, the door handle, the light switches, all of that is being completely disinfected. Customers can book their appointments online or over the phone to avoid touching surfaces inside the building. Despite restrictions relaxing, some area businesses are still closing their doors to help stop the spread of COVID-19. The city of Onalaska's Common Council says the Onalaska Aquatic Center will be closed for the 2020 season.
Dan Wick, the director of Onalaska Park and Recreation, said in a press release, quote, it is extremely unfortunate that we are unable to open the aquatic center this summer. Many communities have had to make this difficult decision. While we would love to be able to open the aquatic center, concerns of staff and public safety, along with the financial strain on the city, was too much. Good. In some good news for kids, the playground equipment in La Crosse City Parks is now open to play on again. City officials are asking families to still use the recommendations of local health officials, even at the playground. This includes social distancing and wearing masks. Thanks so much for joining us for this coronavirus update. We hope you can join us tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Take care.